little quick hit quick hit on what's going on in the Dallas Fort Worth area you may hear about this tornadic storms ripping through that region already damage having been reported and tornado warning for Dallas County right now looks like that'll go right over University Park if you got any friends up there you might ask them how they're doing otherwise uh, that front that'll be bringing us colder air only some meaningful rain around here, much needed. 87 degrees your high today, morning low of 71, and unfortunately right at three inches below normal in rainfall for this time of the year. It's not going to be a good day in the coastal waters tomorrow. After that front blasts through here, mostly cloudy, quite windy, thunderstorms likely, and a high only in the mid 60s, but falling during the afternoon. And look at this, north wind 30 to 45 knots, rough to very rough bays and 7 to 11 foot seas. Uh, obviously, gale warning in effect for tomorrow. Look at the temperature differential behind that front. 36 in Amarillo, 82 in Abilene right now, and we're seeing 80s over most of the Lone Star State south of that front. In fact, it's 90 degrees right now in George West, 94 in Kingsville right now. It is cooking, but that's going to be going by the wayside when that front comes blasting through here about 5 a.m. It's going to dramatically change the environment here for several days to come. Look at the wind sustained at 34 to 36 miles an hour along the coast tomorrow morning out of the north northeast and staying up for much of the day tomorrow. Much colder air comes in behind that system, so tomorrow morning already down into the upper 40s over our northern counties and upper 50s to mid 50s here and not really rising much during the course of the day. In fact, by tomorrow morning, you're going to see wind chills in the 30s. Well, that'll be Saturday morning, excuse me and down to around 41 uh, here in Corpus Christi and then Sunday morning wind chills near freezing. Big, big changes coming up. Our highs tomorrow, well, only in the mid 50s over the northern counties, about 59 or 60 here, but those temperatures will be eroding as the day goes on. That front comes through here with a bang, good line of thunderstorms racing through here. That's because it has good upper level support with this upper level disturbance, but right on its heels, a second system moving in. So you get a little clearing Friday and then additional rain Saturday, Sunday and Monday as that system slowly works its way across our area. How much rain are we talking about? Initially about an inch and then after that uh, repeated rain showers moving through the area inch and a half or so not unexpected by Monday but look at the big change coming up during the day tomorrow struggling to get out of the 50 degree range may not even happen. Here's what it looks like the next seven days a high of around 61 tomorrow only in the 50s a Saturday and Sunday and then eventually warming. Another chance of rain comes up towards the end of the next seven day period when we finally get back towards the 80s. Now, out at Brewster Street Southside, we've got Larissa.